an amazing experience uh, yesterday. Uh, I was flying out to Omaha, Nebraska, uh, where I'm giving a workshop to some priests. And I left my uh, car in Philadelphia at one of the airport parking lots and was on the shuttle to uh, the airport. And a young man uh, named Charles was the driver, and was just he and I in the van. And he said, uh, uh, so You're a priest? And I said, Yeah. And he's a Catholic priest. I said, Yeah. And uh, he said, I haven't listened to the radio. The trial started yesterday for the priests accused of abusing children and uh, covering it up and obviously a very sad thing and it was kind of awkward to admit I was a priest in that moment and he said so let me ask you he goes uh, you're celibate a little forward question but I said yes I'm celibate and he said how long have you been celibate and I said uh, well I've been formally celibate for you know more than uh, 13 years but been chased my entire life uh, you know by the grace of God and it led to a beautiful conversation in the 10 minutes I was riding to the airport uh, as he shared just some of his own struggles in, in broken relationships and uh, struggle with a variety of, of sexual sins. Um, and he said, you know, wow, the, the, he goes, this is really awesome that, that you've done this, like that you live this way, that, that God can help you. And I said, yeah, it, it is awesome. And, and as I got out of the van, he said, you know, I want to try this again. He goes, I want to try not to have sex with women. He goes, because I, I know it's not what God wants. So thanks for doing what you're doing. How amazing that, you know, the horror of the sex abuse crisis leads to this guy asking me a question which gives me an opportunity to witness to the beauty of my celibacy, which God has called me to, which I know is often misunderstood. But it is a powerful witness. It is a gift to the church that God uses us and that God can use us and that the gift of sexuality can be used in a proper way and that we can control ourselves, as I have done through the grace of Almighty God. Never be surprised the way that God might use you. Continue to give permission and say a prayer for Charles uh, that he's able to be the man that God wants him to be.